Yeah, Vortex here. Welcome to my review of the KZZAS. Kind of a fashioned or kind of revised or up-to-date ZAX model. Same amount of drivers. Uh, as usual, full disclaimer is this was sent out to me by Linsol to review. So thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video. I know thoughts and opinions are my own. So yeah, these are a 7 uh, BA and 1 DD per side. So 8 drivers in total per side which is the same as like i said the zax which was from um last year so obviously 2020 and yeah let's just get um let's go into it so let's see what, you see what you get kind of normal kz kind of box no mic which is what i prefer and the black one i actually have not seen the white one and the white one's kind of a white back plate but more of a transparent shell there's just basically address information uh, contact information and stuff like that so don't forget the original intention of using earphones to enjoy music which is right 16 unit hybrid technology earphone well, obviously 16 uh, in total that's what they look like obviously a uh, slight spoiler I've been using these so I know what they sound like and they work fine just quickly show you this one so it uses that kind of C-type connector on the back there, 7BA1DD, hybrid technology, L for left, ZAS. Kind of hard to see the drivers, I'll, go more, I'll explain more later on in the video, but you can see the DD is there, and the armatures are around it, plus there's no armature in the shell, which is, you know, which is good to see. Obviously we'll have a look at that in a bit. Just some paperwork. In here is tips, so a quick look. Should be small and uh, large, I think. Should because mediums normally do come, um, you know, already fitted. I dropped it, but yeah. So small and large. So that's that. And here, let's see what they... So it looks like they've updated the cable. So yeah, it kind of looks like when they're aftermarket kind of cables, all the ones that sell separately. I'll obviously, I'll open this up properly. Obviously, you can see they say L and R. Yeah, there's R. And yeah, that's just it, really. I'll, um, I'll have a good look, but just quickly show you this again. So, obviously, this is the left one. Build quality seems really good, for what I can see. Not a big shell, considering there's eight drivers in there. It's the small nozzle version, which I, I prefer when there was KZ and CC, I used a wider nozzle. Obviously, there's a lip on there. You can see it's hard to see, but there's two vents. But yeah. So yeah, next clip, I'll open the cable up and see if it's actually good or bad. They also, as I just noticed, gave me just a kind of QC certificate. I don't know if I don't know if that's true or not, but yep, that's what the that's why you get. No one to that true wire. So a straight connector, which is okay i normally prefer you know like i said like a right angle connector it's just better when you're using it with portable gear but anyway 3.5 strain relief here it kind of seems familiar as like their normal kind of upgrade in commas like uh in air quotes um you know their kind of upgrade cables it seems very s smooth and soft seems okay splits there no strain reliefs that matters there's no chin slider which for me doesn't really matter. Some people do prefer that, and that's just a better look. I'll obviously says R, and that's it. This should be okay. These obviously much better than they used to be. And I noticed on the older KZ cables, they'd go green, you know, with the uh, moisture. But um, I think the newer stuff seems to be a bit more resistant to it. And yeah, so obviously with the power of editing and uh, 
a lot of hours, even though I actually have put on probably maybe 10 hours, 15 hours already before I even did the video. And yeah, on to the review. So finally on to the review of the KZZAS, obviously in black and gold. I haven't seen anybody have the transparent one yet, which probably would look better so you could see the drivers more. But obviously in black and gold, it does look good. So build and the finish, I think it's actually built quite well, really. There's no real rough edges. It's very smooth and it's very premium. So good job to KZ for like every time they do build a product, it does seem to get better, especially in the mid to high level kind of build quality. So yeah, build, fit, finish seems um, good. I still do prefer the old kind of fitment where the two pin is in the shell instead of the actual, you know, it's the protruding two pin, but that's what it's like. Um, let's say sensitivity, um, I'm powering it. Very easy to power. I didn't really find it very um, finicky with source, so it should be okay for you. Um, sound stage, I didn't really find it very big. I'd say it's average, average in width. So sometimes it's just, just about, it's not outside your head, it's just about in your head, that's how it sounds like. Fine really, it didn't really sound claustrophobic or nothing like that. Imaging, uh, I thought was actually quite good, probably due to the actual uh, driver count, may help, I don't know, but the imaging on these is actually um, was actually perfectly fine, which is quite good. And yeah, comfort, again, comfort was good. This kind of shell, considering he also uses the thin nozzle, I had no issues with comfort, which is good. The, the, the fit a lot better than the ASX, you know, like from the end of last year. This is a better product than the ASX, but anyway, that's a different kind of product. But yeah, comfort was actually good. Wore this for many hours, no issues at all. Take it for a few seconds, put it back in, all good. And yeah, sound, it is obviously why you're obviously why you're here is these do have a um a prominent low end so i'm going to overlay the graph now so you can see as you can see from 500 hertz and up these are very basic probably too too basic to be honest these have got more bass than the zix and that didn't need it <laughs> these didn't need any more these kind of like borderline bass head uh, kind of ones they seem to use the new Zun driver if you can see just there next to my little finger you can see it's in narrows at the bottom so it seems to be using the Zun driver just for low end um they should have adjusted i think the crossover so it has less of effect because it is probably too bassy obviously it depends on what kind of music you actually listen to some tracks is fine on some tracks is too much Again, if it depends what you use these for. Like I've tried these with gaming, and it sounds crazy on <laughs> some. Like try, try these like Doom Twenty Sixteen or Doom Eternal, anything with like crazy soundtracks, and this sounds, it sounds great on them to be honest. But for example, um, but yeah, but low end, it does. It is a good dynamic. It does. It has got good texture and decay. There's just too much of it, really. Um, mids on this, mids are kind of a safe bet for the most half. Um, female voices, it depends, but female, you can see on the graph there towards the 2k, that's a negative with this. In certain parts, if you have it too loud, it's very, very forward in the female vocal range around the 2k. I prefer a little bit smoother around that bit, but it is emphasized to give more forward female vocals. Now, Male vocals, it may be where it sits, so like 600, 800, 1000, where it's in that kind of dip. And it may send the push, pushed away. It just depends how um, deep, shall we say, the male vocal is. But it was okay, I didn't really have any issues with these, but these female vocals were more forward. Um, apart from that, the actual mids was okay. Just you have to be wary of obviously what you listen to and things like that. And yeah, compared to like the ZIX, um, that had decent mids as well. But I might do this, I'm going to do a separate video just between those two because they both have 7BA 1DD per side, they're both the similar price. I think the ZIX is a BA in a nozzle, 
which is normally worse. This has all armatures or all in the shell, as far as I'm aware, and they all go around the dynamic, which th thing in this case is not the best because the D the DD is too prominent. But anyway, that's how it's tuned. So our mids are okay, treble, um, probably smoother than what most people expect, apart from the 2K bit. If they smooth the 2K off, that would these would be a, a really nice treble for me personally. Because I don't like things shouty, like the tin T2 Evo, that's, I didn't like them. But yeah, apart from the, uh, the 2K rise, um, it's fine. Instrument separation is, is good. Obviously, that peak around 8 k is from the the uh, from the measurement. That's just how it sounds like. And yeah, so treble is it's detailed without being really like in your face, which is I like. I prefer the treble of these over the ZAX. The, Z, the ZAX and the ZAS tried a few blows. Some have different pros and cons compared to the other because they are tuned a little bit different. Same kind of product, obviously with eight drivers per side, but they do use different BAs and they use, do use different dynamic. So they are quite different, even with the same driver count. Um, yeah, so I think treble region is actually kind of safe it's probably the ca 16s was again would have been a good comparison to these but i no longer have them that was another high high driver count they had smooth treble as well that would have been a good comparison unfortunately i i don't have them anymore but yeah treble region on these is actually fine nearly kind of what i personally like i do like i do like it's safe because so many companies go overboard with treble um, some do it too overboard with like darkness like the the actual showsy um Ceres they're very dark the these the ZAS I think is much better than that but um yeah I'm trying to think anything else yeah so I tried these with a few different genres um, and different sources. I tried these with the, my Topping L30 low gain because they're easy to power. I tried it with the Tempo Tech V1A, the um, this little player here. I do like this. I I do tend to get a lot of use out of this. Also, side note, they're meant to be making a new one. So I'm quite maybe maybe with a new um, a new DAC. Cause obviously, the issues with AKM, you can't really get them anymore. Uh, yeah, so on the whole, um, I do like these, easy to power, safe treble, but has enough details for me. I, I like the treble region. Sometimes it sounds off because of the elevated 2K. If I think if they smooth that off and a little bit of less uh, low end, these would have been perfect. Ks they seem to keep adding crazy bass these days, but I do appreciate the smoother top end which makes things an awful lot easier. If you're a treble head, you won't like these. If you're a bass head, you probably will like these. I don't know if it really needs that many drivers to get the performance. I don't know. I do prefer the actual ZAX nozzle. I'm not really as keen on these. See the thin one. And yeah, I think enough of me rambling on, but yeah, I'm just quickly summarizing. Um, EQ is your friend with these. If you EQ then they low end a bit. These would, I think would suit an awful lot of people and probably smooth the 2K off. And then you nearly like perfect kind of same signature for what I like. But yeah, on the whole, they are actually, um, they're actually pretty good. That driver needs, it needs, um, best way to describe it. It's too far in the mix, it's too forward. But I think that's how they, if the DD was probably further away, instead of putting it right next to the BAs, so it's right in the mix, I think it would have been better being a bit more pushed away, is probably the best way to describe it. But yeah, on the whole, that's pretty good. Anything else you got? No, in particular, just let me know. Um, I don't really talk about music genres because there's so many pieces of music out there. But these are kind of, good if you use um for edm 
Um, as you say, these are kind of base monsters. But again, it depends on your genre, but yeah, for fun usage, these are great. A bit too much base, but yeah, on the whole, I do prefer these over the ZX a bit, but that's my preference. In many ways, they're a side grade, but I'll do a separate video neck and neck with graphs overlaid and things like that. But yeah, um, I think that's it. I don't want to go too much in because it's already like this bit's over 10 minutes already. But yeah, thanks for watching and take care and just let me know in the comments anything in particular.